we can do proactive things to support our day, to design our day, yeah. instead of being taken by the day. You know, kind of what, what I shared, you know, big key life moments, traumas or triggers are usually what bring people to mindfulness. It's not the it's not the, you know, I was just having a great day and heard about mindfulness and you know, I thought I would just, you know, stop and smell the roses today. Yeah. You know, usually when things are good, it's good. So why do I need to change this flow when yeah. in fact, you know, it is a perpetual moment by moment practice and awareness that doesn't ever truly stop until we turn it off. So an example I like to, to share is, you know, when we're crossing the street. We all look both ways, no matter where you are in the world, yeah. <laughs> no matter what you look like, class, you, know, you look both ways to make sure that you don't end your life <laughs> because you understand each moment matters. So I'm not yeah. just going to walk into the street. And so we actually do a practice, which is a mindfulness practice, which we see on every single block, which is STOP, S-T-O-P. Mm -hmm. And we do it when we're driving. We do it when we're a pedestrian. We need to stop and wait for the light so that we can cross the street safely. And so STOP stands for STOP, S-T-O-P. The T is take a breath. O is for observe. And P is to peacefully proceed, which yeah. is the steps that we do each time we're doing anything that matters. It's not just when we're driving or crossing the street. Whenever we do something that matters, we stop and we think about it and we say, huh, this is how I'm going to move forward. Yeah. We stop, take a breath, observe our surroundings and peacefully proceed. And so to that point, I say we are all mindful. What we're trying to do is get, gain more and enhance more moments within our life to show up the way we show up when we're crossing the street <laughs> yeah that's a perfect visual yeah i think yeah because that makes it really easy to visualize and relate to because everybody can relate to that yeah yeah that's great uh, and i'm really curious as well like uh, because i know you're a certified mindfulness teacher so maybe maybe uh the bar's quite high but what is your mindfulness practice day to day to stay mindful in a world that's constantly trying to uncouple your mindfulness, I guess. Yeah. Um, really to design my own day, to design my mindful day. And so, you know, I went to, I finished a program in global entrepreneurial management, um, got to study in Taiwan and Barcelona, finished the degree here in San Francisco. And you know, the big takeaway for me is this concept of design thinking. Okay. And design thinking really starts with an empathetic lens, thinking about your customer. So design thinking is a process by which to make a, a product. Oh, okay. And it starts with empathy and empathy because you want to think about your customer. Who is this product for? Yeah. And so as we're thinking about entrepreneurship and creating products and services, um, I really connected to design thinking and this process of beginning with empathy, which truly is like a yeah. mindfulness process, you know? And so, um, what, what was the question again? Yeah, no, it was, it was what your mindfulness practice is. Gotcha. Day -day. So that's, yep. Yes, thank you. So that's where I got off track. So the design thinking process yeah. is something that um, was uh, something that really stuck with me. And so I bring that into this question of how do I, what do I do for my practice? It's really about designing my day. Yeah. And so I opposed to waking up and looking at the calendar and, feeling like I have all this to-do list. It's like, I'm designing my day. So I'm waking up thinking about, you know, how am I going to shift between energies? Okay. And so I like to think about doing some movement to begin the day, settling down towards the middle or, you know, in the middle of my day somewhere, and then getting back into a slower, more restorative movement in the end, at the end of the day. So for me, that may look like going on a walk in the morning, walking my dog, 
playing some music to kind of get energized and do a little dancing. Yeah. To midday, getting into some stillness. So that could be a meditation. I could be doing some mindfulness. And then at the end of the day, moving again, but in a restorative way. So doing like some restorative yoga, therapeutic yoga, holding postures longer in a calming, easeful way. Okay. And so I really enjoy designing my day because I feel like I have more autonomy within it opposed to feeling like I'm just getting pulled and have to do certain things. Mm -hmm. It's like, no, I've designed a day where I'm excited for what's upcoming and not Ooh. only that, I have designed it in a way that takes into consideration my energies and will pick yeah. me up, allow me to relax, and then pick me up. And so it allows me to move more fluidly through my day, opposed to feeling like I'm just reacting to it. So I, I have a mindful community that I join every morning. Uh, 845 to 930 for a mindful sit. I'll either do that with or after my morning walk or a little dance. Sure. Um, and then have my, you know, mindful breathing that I may do in the middle of the day, just five mindful breaths, actually feeling the full cycle of the breath, mm. feeling my feet on the floor. I like to say your right foot is here and your left foot is now. And when you're standing in the here and now, you're in the present moment. Yeah. And we can't take our feet into the past. We can't take them into the future. So we can only be where our feet are, which is the present. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's I need to sit with that one for a minute. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's really good. <laughs> well, that's but that it's so important because that's what helps people connect to it and remember it is those little visualizations. Because, you know, we all have a million things going through our mind and those visualizations really help to bring us back mm -hmm. to a mindful moment. So, yeah. yeah. And I think that's yeah. a really simple, uh, simple kind of recipe for anyone looking to be mindful, just mm -hmm. saying design your own day. Because people like to feel they're in control. So, mm -hmm. you know, you can design your own day however you want. It doesn't have to be how you do it with yoga and, and, you know, dancing and things like that. They can do it however they want. Just don't feel like you're reacting to the day. So I think that's, exactly. that's a really useful practical tip. So thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And, I, and, and it's really based in, again, this curiosity and this mindfulness of present moment. So as you said, it doesn't have to be around dancing and yoga and finding your center and breathing. It can be, you know, going on a roller skate, you know, it could be, stopping by and having you know your favorite ice cream that you haven't had in a while sure. um you know one of my i had a, a boss that said you know at least once a week do something nice for yourself so even if that is you know buying this pen you just walk down a store and saw a stationary store and saw a pen that you liked it's like it'd be even just getting that pen could be the big win of the week you know this is something i chose I didn't react to it. I didn't get this because I was feeling bad. So I needed to, you know, shop to feel better. Like I was present moment. I enjoyed it. I took advantage yeah. of it. And this is my nice moment. Right. So yeah. that's something, again, how she was kind of designing her day. And